Hello everyone and welcome back. Starting off today in Elche Park and um, seems like they are bringing the hooks back out. Um, believe very soon it will be one of the biggest festivals here in Benidorm, the more St Christian's Festival. Um, if you've never heard of it, go back through the channels. There are some videos of it. All I'll say is um, very big and very noisy as well. 28 degrees and today I'm going to be doing a bit of a new series. Um, not too sure what to call it yet. I was thinking calling it um, Benny Dawn Virgins, but of course YouTube's a bit uptight on stuff like that. But anyway, it's a sort of how to series, that first time in Benny Dawn series, just showing you stuff. Today I'll be showing you how to get up to the castell. So of course we're starting at the end of town. Um, if you don't know where the end of town is, there is another way to get to the castle from somewhere you might know which I will show you eventually in this video but if you are the end of town what you want to do is you want to come up past me lords and the always shop Until you get to the other way, so best other way to take is this one right here. Just head straight up. Got fans. Okay, as I was saying. Head up to Sunday Bay. Right here, guys, of course. As you can see as well, I still have the gay pride posters and decoration. So, pride's been and gone, but I still do the party sort of it. We're heading up Calais San Vincent, which is this street here just turned out so you can just see the Euro shop there. Take a white, you're heading down towards Poniente Beach. Where we left, wait, no. Where we left, you're heading down towards Poniente Beach. Where we right, you're heading towards the Fanny. Uh, Another bit of advice as well, be careful when coming up here because it is still a road, race chippy there, looks a bit quiet that. <laughs> So coming up this alley where you will pass quite a few bars and few gay bars as well. few nice hotels as well as hidden restaurants. We'll show you one in a minute. Hidden mushroom, Italian choice. But so I'll put you on pause till I get a bit nearer 
See you in a minute. As well, guys, I think some of these alley race have been featured on a few scenes of the Benny Dom TV series. Little budgie there. Wait, no, not a budgie, is it? Just a little bird. Canary, that's what I was thinking. Anyway, many of these alley race have been featured for scenes of Benny Dom. Um, Believe the scene where you see Michael, Janice, Mick, and Madge fighting through the um, religious parade to get to town hall. The one as well where you see Matteo getting arrested because he's got that dress on. That's actually not too far from this area. Anyway, so if you keep following this alleyway up, just back down there is where we started. Keep following up. Not too much of a walk, probably a couple minutes, depending on how fast a walk you are. Oh well, that's a bit of a quapper. Okay. Eventually you come up out here in what is called the Plaza Den Senorita. Just show you that is that a still arrived up here quite often. People do tend to park in the middle of the road and block it off. They of course have all the beautiful little market stalls here. Playa Pequena, Mojito Bar there. Sherry's as well in the background. Come out by the nice little square there. And of course a nice sort of overview of one of my favourite beaches, Playa de Malpas. So as I was saying, nice overview of Malpas Beach, uh, one of the quietest beaches in Banidorm. I know it don't look it at the moment, but I mean, you don't get that Lefanti Gats, which is all the drunken bailouts. Or, of course, as Rock Come Out cycles them, beer monsters. They get a nice view from up here as well. Um, Hotel Bali in the distance, the Intempo building as well. Um, Found an apartment for sale in the Intempo building last night on Facebook Marketplace and uh, let's just say it for pricey, very pricey, um, going as far as about five figures price, so yeah, um, I won't be living in the Intempo building any time soon. Anyway, back to the video. You keep coming up this little pathway here, Vermont. Eventually, you can just about see the castle. Of course, there is steps up to it as well. From down by Malpass Beach, 
if you are brave or you're trying to lose weight or something. Come past this square here. Of course, you can see Sherry's bar in the background there. The Castel coming in if you as well. You built a French of the sea vanities. Very beautiful little plaques. Plaza de la Senora. You're heading the right way now, guys. Come up this little sort of pathway here. And eventually you will come out in this little square with all the artists. Look at them guys, talented. Yeah, do of course come out one by the anchors. Church San Jamie just behind us as well with the beautiful blue tiled roofs giving it nice sort of old town Spanish vibes do have a few nice bars around here as well lad doing characters and sketches there Got some good talent up here. <laughs> and of course, the sculptures. <coughs> Check out Scoop the Zoo's channel for a video I'm down, guys. Um, she done them in a lot more information. And, of course, the church has to get in on the video. Just right here, so... I'm not sure if the camera's doing that justice, but that's what the Castel looked like back in the day. Yeah. Back when Mad Mike were the lad, I imagine. Of course, up here is the Castel. Oh, Castel. Um, Probably known to the British for the scenes of Benny Tom it were featured in um for example Jeff Maltby's Big Date Yep that happened up here when Jeff first met Leslie All happened up here guys as you can see, absolutely beautiful views all out across the anti side of Benny Dorm. A bit cloudy over the mountains, though. We have had a bit of stormish weather of the evenings. Harbours just sound there as well. Quite a quiet area to come sit and chill up here. Come get some pictures as well. On the back pictures, I do sort of need a thumbnail, don't I? Um, that should do. I 
Because the El Mirador Mirador the Mediterranean as well as another few points that does provide quite some lovely views. The metal thing out at sea as well that used to be a geyser back in the day. Peacock Island out in the distance as well. And believe it or not, there were a water spiral spotted off the coast there the other day. Quite scary. Now the castell as well where I've actually used as a fort back in the olden days. If you want some more information, pause the video and you can see some information about it. The courtyard. Some of the old bits from the castell even guys. So it does kind of come to show as well, guys, that um, Benny Dunn's not just full of like, beer louts and partying. There is some history to it. There you go, a bit more information. Which, of course, right now I think that isn't graffiti. Absolutely beautiful and normally there is a guy who sits up here playing guitar and there's also normally a guy up here who does some paper silhouettes for people. Okay then guys, so that was a bit of a how to get to the old castell here in Benidorm. Before I do end the video of course I will show you the views you get over the Fanny Beach as well. Just absolutely Beautiful up here, guys. You cannot beat it. Probably good as well coming up here for watching the sunset. Maybe fireworks shows that happen between fiestas. Anyway, guys, smash the likes, smash subscribe as well, and do comment down below if there's a how to video you want me to do whether it's how to get to Altea or Wabia or maybe how to get to the British strip or something drop a comment down below guys see you soon